Hello brain lovers, Gregory here from the Brain Academy. The question today is, can you live with only half a brain? Short answer is actually yes. For the long answer, find out in this video. So I was reading this magazine. I love the new scientists. I'm not kidding. Look, this is all new scientists every single week. Good stuff, great articles, well written, and every single week new one on all kinds of subjects. There's really fantastic stuff. So I will be leaving a link in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. Now, they regularly write about the brain, which is kind of interesting in my line of work. Duh. And the other day, this happened. Have you read this? Read what? The article in The New Scientist, the one with, uh, the one with half a brain. Sure. Sure? What do you mean, sure? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Living with half a brain, you know, as in uh, half a brain. That's impossible! Oh, it's more common than you think. What? Living with half a brain is way more common than you would think. This can happen for several reasons. Some people are born with half a brain. Others develop a disease where one of the hemispheres starts to shrink and shrivel. Or you can get half your brain removed. It's called a hemispherectomy and it is used in cases of extreme epilepsy, for example. So usually it's one of the hemispheres that gets affected. It's hard to know how many people have only half a brain from birth or disease. However, we do know of nine cases where the cerebellum is completely missing. And as the cerebellum holds 50% of all neurons in the brain, that counts as well as living with half a brain. When half the brain is missing due to a surgical intervention, of course, we know. Just to give you an idea, over the last 20 years, in the US alone, there have been over 1,000 hemispherectomies. Say what? Yes, you heard that right. In the US, there are over 1,000 people living with half a brain. This is only half. Where's the other half? Now, before you start making stupid jokes about that, know that it happens all over the world, in every country. And people adapt really, really well. Oh my God, he's right. Of course I'm right. According to this article, a teenager who was born without the entire left hemisphere of her brain has above average reading skills, despite missing the part of the brain that is typically specialized for language. She has an average to high IQ and plans to go to university. Apparently, the right side of the brain has taken over the functions of the left side. Relax, Alfred. I'll take it from here. So what? Now our brain becomes like our lungs or kidneys. We've got two of those and we can live with only one. So we have two hemispheres in the brain and we can be perfectly fine with only one. The answer is yes and no. The key is of course neuroplasticity, the ability of the brain to rewire itself. There are surprising little side effects for getting half of your brain cut out. For those who get their left hemisphere cut out, there's an 18% chance for language dysfunction. And in general, some 10% risk of movement dysfunction after the operation. That's only 10%, remember? We're cutting out half of the brain there. So IQ also remains stable. Now having said that, this is only half the story. But wait, there's more. You see, if we need to cut out half of your brain, it means there's something not working up there and uh, there has been a brain injury at one moment or another. And the neuroplasticity and language transfer across hemisphere are determined by the age at brain injury rather than the age at surgery. In other words, if you would cut out half of the brain of a normal functioning person, the results would be pretty ugly, especially if it's an adult we're talking about. So, I, I can get half my brain removed? Uh, you can, but wh why would you do that? Uh, sounds like a cool experiment to me. Be my guest. Okay. No, Greg, no, that was a joke. Greg, come back here. Actually, you might be living with only half a brain and not even knowing it. Do you know someone with only half a brain? Comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new episodes of this vlog coming out every week. And if you want the real stuff, go to brainacademy.com. Join our 200,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen.